Hello everyone and welcome to my channel of all things makeup. How are we today? If you like what you see and you want to be kept up to date with all my new content, please hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Today we're going to be doing a body paint based on one of my all time favourite films. It is Nightmare Before Christmas. I know it's Easter and it isn't Christmas or Halloween but I thought this would be really fun and colourful and I thought why not? The body paint's going to be Sally and she's going to have lovely glam makeup on and then a stitch coming away here in the shape of a heart with a little image in the middle. Can't wait to get started. Right, let's get to it. So to begin, I've clipped all my hair back because I'm going to be using a lovely red wig today. To start off the body paint, I'm going to draw on my full stencil of the makeup and I'm just going to be referencing the picture I've got up here, so that's why I'll be looking back and forth. For the stencil then, I'm going in with my red pencil. You can use white, I wouldn't use black as it will show through and blend with the colours a bit murky and bleh. Won't be great. <laughs> I find the red pencil quite good because it blends in with my skin quite easily so if I make a mistake I can rub it away and it doesn't disturb any of the colours. On the body paint I'm going to have some openings of where the stitching has come away. For this I'm just adding lines of where the definition will be to help create that illusion that her skin is opening up. So now I'm going to stencil in the little illusion of the skin folding over and you see the image inside. So now that I'm happy with the stenciling, I am going to go in with the base colour of Sally's skin which is blue. So I'm going in backwards and forwards motions just to reduce the streaks that come up in the paint. I'm also going in with a darker colour blue than I actually would for Sally as I'm going to add the light blue later on and then it'll create like a like a contour and give her more form. I'm applying lighter pressure around the stencil and just so the lines are a bit more dominant so when I go in two shades I know where they are. The colour that I'm using has nearly run out. I'm starting to panic just a little bit because I've got to cover all of the skin area in this paint. So it might be a little bit streaky. Yeah, I think that's best. I've just lowered my camera. I realised you couldn't see what I was doing here. That's no good. Right, let's carry on. <laughs> right, I've got the tiniest bit left to do the face. Note to anyone and note to self to make sure you've got the right amount of stock <laughs> of paint before you decide to do a body paint, which I clearly didn't do. So we managed it. The only thing is, it is very streaky right now. I would not be happy with the amount of streaks, but we can save it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add light blue into the middle and then we're going to be hiding the streaks and everything with shadows later on. I'll add the light blue with the sponge into the areas where the light would hit. I always remember where your light source is coming from. That's the main thing I would say to remember to make any body paint or any illusion, even drawing to be more believable and realistic. Now before I go in with the shadow, I'm just going to add a darker blue just to some areas just to contour a bit more before I add the shadow. Using a light blue matte pigment just to go over the light areas. So now I'm going to go in with a dark shade of blue and I'll use this to contour all of my face and my body. So the base is looking a lot better than it did before. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some rough shades and just around the stitches before I go in again with body paint. So now the base is basically done. I'm going to go in with a dark blue body paint for the stitching. 
Now that I've filled in the splits of the skin, I am going to add a light blue to the outside and further enhance that 3D illusion. So for the stitching to add further definition, I'm going in with black body paint on a very fine little brush and I'm just going to outline the edges and then later on I'm going to go in with shadow to blend it out. So this is the stitching so far. I'm thinking of going for turquoise for the stitches, like the string here, and you'll see how I'll incorporate it later. Once I have done the stitching, I'm gonna add white highlights to the stitches and to the gaps. This will really help it pop. And then after that, I can start with the fidget in the middle. I'm going to go in on the skin and I am going to highlight with a lovely white shimmer. To help create this illusion that it's folded over, the light will normally hit here the strongest so that's where I'm going in and I'm going round following the shape to help create that illusion. To create the illusion that it's in, I'm just going to add depth on this side and then on top here I'm going to add white highlights around the edge. So now that the picture and the body's done, it is time for the eyes and the lips. put the wig on and here's the final look I hope you really like my Sally and night before Christmas inspired look let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video